What's up guys, Walk here bringing you Reddit Alchemy's uh, war recap. I forget what number this is. Um, important notes is that this patch that we got this morning, six hours into the war, is the air sweeper patch. So, kind of a lackluster update until we learned that they possibly for good, definitely for the this war killed modding. So as you can see prior to war, let's find their town hall nine attacks. Three star three star um, three star three star Three star. Three star. Three star. Three star. <laughs> three star, but that's against the town hall. Is shown a town hall eight or nine? I don't remember. But bottom line is they have a very high three star rate. And then this is where the patch comes in between 20 hours and 17 hours. Fail. A 0% fail, 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 0%, another fail, another 0%. Town Hall 9 is attacking gear and they can't kill him. He's the Town Hall 8. Another 0%. Another fail, another fail. And yeah, that's basically it. So basically they went from a 100% three star rate on our Town Hall 9s to a 0% three star rate on our 9s after the mod update, which, you know, it's pretty cool and our three stars came mainly after the patch because we save our strong attacks for last. So I'm pretty happy with our war performance. Shout out the six star people, Ninja Jammies, Wokbok, which is my alt, Wachow, Great Wars. Uh, let's see. YOLO Swagons, great job. We had a lot less Town Hall 8 attacks, so we needed a Town Hall 8 to do work, and he did work. Uh, Herpin got six stars cleaning up the Town Hall 8s, because we had a couple left over. Um, and is that pretty much it? Yep, so not, not a great war for six star wars, mainly the bottom people. I personally got one three star and a fail. Tried doing a mass switch attack that failed. So we're going to lose out on 5 XP, which is my fault. So we're just going to take a quick look and see what replays are left that we can learn something from. The problem is the hero, this update changed the hero AI. It added a sweeper, so La Luna is going to change. And you know, with the heroes being updated, it, it, it affects cold-blooded, so... There's not going to be a terrible amount to learn. I got 3 star, 3 star, 3 star right in a row. Uh, this attack was pretty cool. He basically, so you're going to see how this hero AI changes. You have to clear a much wider funnel in front of the, like where you want to do the cold blooded. So in he comes, and you know, much wider funnel than we're used to making. He's gonna end up making a funnel one, two, three, four, five buildings wide, and they're still gonna want to go more off course. Queen thought about it. So it's it's gonna be a really important to note how the the hero AIs have changed, and how it's gonna affect cold bloodeds. 
So then he comes with this law loon. It's going to be a collapsing spiral that we've talked about. You know, coming around with the spiral collapsing. And the third one's going to pop now. And it's quite easy cleanup. Tons of lava pups left. You know, the spiraling collapsing spirals really help protect it and I tend to think if any strategy survives the sweeper update it's going to be the collapsing spiral version um, let's see what else um, is this a la Luna attack was this a shattered yep this was a shattered so um, let's watch the shattered come in. This is by Ron. It's got, I think, the third highest queen in the clan. Zap spell comes in. I haven't, I don't think I've watched this attack to be honest. When does he... Oh, right, this was... I did watch this attack. He waits really, really long to start his cult, to start his law loon. I didn't think he was going to have enough time, but his loon split at the end. So when you do a shatter that gets two ADs, you're basically doing a pretty flat deployment. You know, in this case, his deployment was like that. And then the loon split here, which is what gets him the cleanup. And yeah, when you're doing a shattered or you're doing any type of cold blooded, you have to s try and start the attack with at least two minutes remaining, or you're gonna run into cleanup problems. In this case, it didn't matter, but you'll run into some really high um, pro issues with like a 95% two star. Um, another La Loon. We're going to be in trouble if the sweeper is a big patch. I think he does the pull and then he uses the heroes to kill them. And then he basically yolos the attack. This one survives because low level air defenses. And low level queen. And he waited so that at least three of the pups popped. So this was a quick attack. Not a ton learned, because those attacks are definitely going to be nerfed by the sweeper, I think. Um, that's a Town Hall 8. Getting attacked by 9, 8 attacked by 9. This is an 8 attacking an 8, we'll watch this. So, oh, sorry, this is a 9. I didn't realize Oberyn was 9. Sorry. Do I have any Town Hall 8 on 8s left? Um, oh, Callum's attack on 35 and 34. Here we go. <clears throat> so, this is a second attack on the base. Ooh, I'm going to pause it. For you Town Hall 8s, we originally had someone attack the base with his Loon Pathing doing this. And that was the goal. But then that Tesla popped up here, and like when the loons came in, they ended up targeting the Tesla. But because it was the second attack on the base, we knew that this space was empty. So what we ended up doing was switching the loon pathing to that, and having the dragons across here with the lightning spell down here. And Callum executed it well. Let's see. Yep. In they go. They get the AD as their second target. And just like that, the base is clear of air defenses. So good job executing by Callum. And that's, you know, the kind of thing that you want to do when you're cleaning up. You want to figure out what went wrong on the first attack and fix it. And that's exactly what he did. Let's see. 35. Oh, 35 was not a... We start by Callum. Um, I think that's it. So, 
it wouldn't be very useful for me to show you, you know, these attacks. So, I'll, I'll end with the mass witch fail. I have no idea what I was doing. Um, I don't even use both freeze spells. Um, I wasn't anticipating the Teslas popping up here. I wanted the witches to try and get those mortars, and it failed horribly. So the witches come in. It looks like it's going pretty well. I don't even know what's going on, to be honest. Maybe I should have attacked from a flat side? I have no idea. But attack fails. So that's a war recap, kind of a crappy war recap because of the three, two or three maintenance breaks wiping some replays, but I wanted, and because the AI changes midway through, but I wanted to uh, make one because we're pretty excited at the fixes to iMod or XMod and the fact that you know, they're doing something about it and that we were able to pull the win legitimately. So this is walk back from or this is walk from Reddit Alchemy. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry there's not a lot of content to learn from this war. Um, we will hopefully have some great new content and great new strategies coming up when the air sweeper takes it to effect and we figure out how to attack it. So good night.